there, this is David, and welcome back to part two of our three-part finale, which will conclude on Christmas Day. So, last time, looks like uh, Cedric has awoken the Vermilion Apocalypse, which, of course, wants to destroy no, the world. this can't be... a calamity that appeared 250 years ago, with the Testarossa as its core. The Vermilion Apocalypse... Well, all that techno mumbo jumbo does not make this sound good at all. God, it's like molten. Holy shit! What in the hell is that over the capital? Is it like summoning holy or something? Or just summoning hell? Ooh! Looks like everybody's gonna die who's like left in the streets. This is not good. You would think that like these houses would be blown away or something, but they're just standing. I don't know. I wonder if this isn't like a fire or anything, if it's more like, um, deathly spirits, you know, going through the streets or something. Kind of like something out of like the Ten Commandments. Ooh, yeah, it's just instant death for anyone who touches that. That's not good at all. Oh no! There's the rest of the uh, classes, the Thor students. I hope that they can resist it somehow. I don't know. It's swallowing her soul. Oh, poor Loggins! I don't want you to die too. My favorite. Don't you? Don't look at me. Though I guess this is no time to be feigning ignorance. These red spirit veins around us are meant to siphon mana. Focus your energy and stay vigilant, and you should be able to mitigate the effects to some extent. I see. Makes sense. In that case... Everyone, take a deep breath and gather your energy in your abdomen. And stay focused. This isn't over yet. Red spirit veins, you don't say. It's kind of strange. I wonder who Thomas is. Like, that came out of nowhere. He's always been such a loser. And then, like, all of a sudden, it's like the other instructors knew he had, like, some alias or secret identity, or at least that he had something to hide, or at least Makarov knew. But apparently he did. Like, his whole voice changed and everything. What in the world is that? Like, Phoenix Wings? Holy crap. This is not good. Oh, hey, it's Selyse and Toa and the rest of the crew. I kind of forgot about them, actually. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. Assess the situation in the surrounding area from above. Right. Courageous. All engines at maximum output. Oh, Adios. Please watch over them. Also, during all these various sequences here, there is some serious loading times. We're talking 10 to 20 plus seconds of loading uh, for these various scenes. So if you notice anything kind of janky going on, that's just me trying to edit out tons of loading scenes between like all these different cuts. It's like, like there was one that was 25 seconds of loading. I mean, like, come on. Oh, well, at least uh, the rest of the royal family's safe. Cedric, not so much, though. <laughs> Speaking of Cedric, here he is! <laughs> oh, the vermilion demon lord! The demonic god with a thousand weapons! The absolute ruler given form by Emperor Orthros 250 years ago! <laughs> <laughs> No, at this rate, the protective field isn't going to last much longer. You fool. This was the one thing I forbade you to do. Vita, can you help me make an opening? An opening? With that enhancement technique? Yep, the same one you used on me in that trial three years back. You think it'll work? It's worth a try. Chrome? You got something in mind? I think so. Vita and I are gonna try to make an opening so you can get closer. Once we've done that, try and hold out against it as much as you can. 
You can do that? If you can, please do. We're done for if we don't try something. So I say go for it. Still, it sounds like all that's going to do is delay the inevitable. We're going to need something more decisive to turn the tides in our favor. Of course, the Divine Knights. If you combine their strength, we could actually make it through this thing. Now you think, if we can hold out till they've recovered a good chunk of mana, victory's as good as ours. After that, all we gotta do is separate the core, Crown Prince Cedrickson, from the rest of the body. No sweat! We can do this! Right. Without him, it shouldn't be able to remain in this dimension any longer. Not like we got any better options. Okay, let's go. Vita, Pro, we're counting on you. Leave it to us. We won't disappoint. Grianos, Celine, would you two mind helping? <sighs> Fine, if I have to. <laughs> Celine's such a bitch. Here we are, like, all ready to die, and Celine's like, Tch, do I really have to help? Like, come on now. So at this point, you get a chance to save. I'm gonna cut out that saving part and uh, party setup and all that. You saw my party setup last time in the end slate, so if you have any questions, just check that out. Oh, Azure Breath, which arises from the Abyss. Reside within his blade and cleave through the vermilion flames. Take this! Deadly cross! Now's our chance! Class 7, let's go! Right! right. For boss time, it's the vermilion apocalypse himself, which is actually kind of a joke. It's really not that hard. Um, during the first battle, you're going to be fighting with kind of uh, your reserve party members, and then you're going to be fighting him again using your main party members, and then there's a third battle in this never-ending gauntlet this one looks strong. where we use Valimar. But what makes this really easy, it's like ridiculous, is they give you 200 CP for everyone. So first things first, I'm going to be using Chrono Burst with Reen give him some extra turns. Then, once I've done that, uh, I'm just going to want to use Motivate, get everybody's strength up. There we go. And now, uh, just attack, get a little bit more CP. Ooh, yeah, save that BP. That'll come in handy. Now, at this point, here's where it gets easy. We're going to be using everybody's S-Break over and over and over again. Considering not only do you get these four characters, you actually have some more in backup, and they all have 200 CP. So we can all just go all out using our best attacks and just slaughter this guy from here to Kingdom Come. I mean, like, did these people, like, not think about how easy they made this boss? I mean, come on. Like, I don't really like being cheap like that, but... The game, like, hands it to you on a silver platter. I mean, I could have done easily 200,000 more damage to him just by bringing in my reserve party members and using, you know, their S-breaks as well. So, they're gonna run away because I used up all their CP. Hey, fresh meat to use even more CP! I can't wait! So, at this point... <laughs> like, I, I, it's hard for me to say this with, with a straight face. Yeah, Reen has uh, 100 CP, but he gained back all of his EP again. So, yeah, use Chrono Burst yet again, get extra turns, go ahead and use Motivate, get everybody's strength up. I mean, this is, like, really just ridiculous. Okay. And, again, S-Break the crap out of this guy. Awesome. Whoa! Like a hundred thousand damage! I mean, come on! Depending on whose S-Breaks you're using, I mean, they're dealing so much damage. It's so nice. Oh, and I can even delay him. You would think that he'd be resistant to delay as well, but not so much. Um, yeah, just can up his CP as well. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've already used her, so let's bring in Millie. She has a fresh source of CP. Go ahead and use that one. Awesome. We've already seen all these S-Crafts, that's why I'm not showing them again. It would just take way too long. 
and yeah, whatever, just use your Wizarding. I could bring in Usus, but really doesn't matter. I mean, just, what a joke. Oh, now he's angry! Hey! Awesome! Hey, it's Valimar and the Azure Knight. Who knew? Right. My regeneration is complete as well. Glad inside, crew. All right, let's do this. Okay, and now we have to fight him yet again. And I can only imagine that he's in a weakened state because for this being like a Valimar battle, it's actually incredible. Yeah, he's your like forced party member, but it doesn't work like the um, like the rest of Class Seven. He actually works as like a second um, magic knight to fight right alongside you. And we have you know 150,000 HP, and he's dealing 5,000 to us, so not all that concerned. So whatever he's in his kneeling stance like he is right now, you want to go ahead and attack his body. Ooh, yeah, this is why I told you to save up your uh, BP. Right. For whatever reason, your BP actually carries over into this fight. It's like the only one where your BP carries over, which is kind of strange. Okay, so, yeah, we're still going after his body. He's still in this kneeling phase. Um, if you want to, you can impede him. I don't think it's all that necessary, considering he's dealing, like, pitiful amounts of damage to you. And if you die, like, there's a problem here. Okay, whenever he's bending forward like he is right now, then you actually want to go ahead and attack his head. There we go. Wow, we're getting tons of critical hits against this guy. Awesome. Yeah, just keep it up. Wow, he's already two-thirds of the way killed. I mean, come on. So, what do you have to use against us now? Oh, you have a bow and arrow? Huh, I thought you had a spear. That was even weaker than the last thing that he used. Okay, so he's just standing around. Now you want to attack his arms. Uh, we might as well show that off. I mean, we haven't really seen much of Crow's attack, so yeah, it's something different. Uh, we could show off Flame Dragon, I guess. Although I want to say I've already shown it to you guys like multiple times. Eh, we'll see this again. Why not? You bet. Japanese characters mean? If anybody knows what those mean or what they say, like, please let me know in the comments. That'd be kind of cool to find out. And with that, the three easiest battles in the game, we've defeated the Vermilion Apocalypse. So anticlimactic. Although, they do have a good ending, so can't complain that much. Is that? That's its core, with the Crown Prince in it. I'll clear a path. You focus on rescuing me. Got it. Save him now, so don't you dare look back! Right! Eight means one play, seven four. And Lightning's domination! Pretty cool. I'd also like to know what those Japanese characters mean as well. And I hope that Crow's okay. I mean, his tail, like, went all the way through the Azure Knight. But he'll be fine. I mean, Crow's been through a lot worse, hasn't he? Ooh. You're like going through and you're like pulling at his heart. I hope that Cedric's okay too. But 
you know, nobody can die. This is a JRPG. Everyone's gonna be fine. Right? Eh, why am I getting worried about it? I really shouldn't. I've played this JRPG before. Well, not really, actually. <laughs> but you know what I mean, viewers. So is this going to turn into Cedric and he's going to be perfectly fine and everybody's going to go home and smile and laugh and everything's going to be hunky-dory? Well, Crow was the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front and he, you know, led everybody else to see in the last game. So he's a strong, tough guy. He should be fine. And Cedric's royalty. He's not going to die either. Right? Reen! He's exhausted, but his life doesn't appear to be in any danger. Yeah, he's lost a lot of mana, but nothing that would prove fatal. He'll be alright with some rest. Oh, oh thank goodness. Oh, that's a relief. That's our mission complete. We recovered the other one of this nation's greatest treasures. <sighs> this... this can't be... I can't believe how wrong this has gone. I can't imagine the Grandmaster is going to be very pleased with me when I get back. The Grandmaster? That's Ouroboros' leader, right? The very same. The only absolute figure to we Anguis. The supreme existence carrying out the Orpheus final plan, who will guide the souls of all. The souls of all? I don't get it. Hmm? So that's... So that's why you broke the taboo and left seven years ago. That's right. I became a guide for the second part of the Grandmaster's plan, known as the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. A plan to use the Hollow Phantasm and Crossbell to awaken the Blaze in the Empire. Regardless, thanks to you and Crow, I was able to advance it... Crossbell, you don't say. She will never figure out what's going on there. Crow? Is Crow alright? And what's gonna happen to Duke Cayenne? Find out next time in the last of our three-part finale of Let's Play Legend of Heroes Treads of Cold Steel 2. What? I can't sense any mana from inside. And that vast hole. This has been David, and have a good day. That must be from where he was pierced during the battle. No, 